What's the significance of prayer mats? People say we must respect the prayer rugs and that we must not pray unless we place the prayer rug. This is a common misconception among a lot of the Muslims. And they give value to things that have no value in Islam. So if you go back to the Quran and to the Sunnah, you'd never find any mentioning of a specific prayer mat to be used by individuals. For example, the Prophet said والسلام, in the well-known hadith that Allah has favored me with five features that none of the prophets before me had had them. And he mentioned among it, or these features, that Allah has made the whole earth a place for prayer and a means of purification. So a Muslim, whenever prayer is due, he can pray on any surface, whether it's sand, pebbles, uh, concrete, a carpet, um, uh, tiles, if he, marble, if he's in an airport, anywhere, in the market, anywhere. Because this is pure, unless proven otherwise. Yes, there's dust, there is dirt, but it's still pure and acceptable to pray. Few centuries ago, maybe, people started developing, due to their ignorance of religion, this tendency to be more Roman than the Romans, to be more enthusiastic towards things that they think are related to Islam when they're not. So they started developing things and to make it part of the rituals of prayer. Some of them wear a kufi for prayers. And I've been to Syria, Turkey, to uh, the Bosnia, Herzegovina, and you see the Muslims there, they would throw you a kufi if you uh, uh, don't have anything on your head. And you ask, what is this? No, this is for prayer. After the salat, they throw you prayer beads. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they should have introduced frisbees. That would have been more fun. Where, where is this? What, where are they getting these things? And just keep on throwing things in the masjid. This is not part of Islam. But it is shaitan who developed these things in their minds that now it, it is a ritual. And among these rituals, the prayer mat. So people consider prayer mat to be sacred. Oh, it's, this is what I pray on every single day. And it has the picture of Mecca and Medina. Some of them think that it has some sort of being sacred because of the pictures. And not only that, after you finish prayer, you have to fold it. Never, ever leave the prayer mat open. Why? Is it because shaitan will come and pray. <laughs> Who said that shaitan is going to pray? Who says that if I leave the mushaf open, shaitan is going to pray or going to read it? Do you think that he wants to learn? Do you think that he wants Allah's forgiveness? He could have asked and Allah would have forgiven him. But he doesn't want this and he doesn't need that. So all of this is a bunch of balonies. It's nothing. It is totally not related to Islam. A prayer mat is a piece of rug. You can pray on it if the earth or the, the ground or the floor is impure. And you can wipe your car with it without any problem. Who made it sacred? Who gave it this importance in Islam? No one. So who are you to blame me if I use it to do or to, for anything? It's a piece of cloth. It has nothing no weight in Islam. So I hope this clarifies things more. And I